What is a dead giveaway that someone is creepy or a weirdo? They are pushy and don't respect boundaries. Met a girl through class. She immediately became very attached and asked for my apartment key the second time we hung out together, which was about one week apart. We're both girls and we literally hung out twice. They make comments that are absolutely out of line. Like sexual or violent comments. Like it's normal. It's one thing to joke but you can just tell when someone is being serious. My wife had a male co-worker that built a diorama of one of her female co-workers being eaten alive. By a tarantula. He then thought it would be a good idea to show the diorama to her and other co-workers. Management found him a job at another company rather than firing him. My wife and her co-workers were relieved that he was gone. Grateful that he wasn't likely to consider his separation antagonistic. But worried about his future co-workers. Not really a universally applicable sign. But definitely an unambiguous sign. They don't understand personal space. They constantly have interactions where everyone else is completely crazy. Normal people don't get banned from Costco. Spit on gas station attendants and get tased by the cops. If this shit happens to you you're probably a creepy weirdo. And yes. I'm sure all of your ex-girlfriends were the problem. He refers to himself as an alpha male. Chris Hansen asks them to have a seat. If they have absolutely zero personality outside of sex. Their username is begging for nudes from strangers. Adults begging children to give them a kiss or a hug despite being told no. Anyone else reading this to see if they're weirdo? Or just me and my social anxiety? Where's my hug? You walk past them as they are looking at their phone and see they have a picture of you taken from across the food court of you unhinging your jaw to take a bite of a burger. Don't take no for an answer. They tell you who you are and what you like. And if you stand up for yourself they gaslight you and try to play games with your boundaries to break them down. When you're using a public urinal and a complete stranger stands directly behind you quietly for no reason. They have a glass cage in their basement. Grown men who tell teenage girls that they're mature for their age. They're a moderator on Reddit. When they passionately discuss their collection of vintage Barbie dolls, which they claim are haunted, while offering to show you their extensive shrine dedicated to Nicolas Cage in their basement. They claim to not understand the concept of the age of consent. Attempts to isolate you from your friends. Or to take you out of public space to go somewhere alone with them. Animal cruelty. When it refuses to rub the lotion. Anyone who tells young kids things like you're gonna be a heartbreaker. Let me know when you turn 18. I bet your parents are chasing them away. Etc. I have heard enough older women say these things to my little brother and it was always weird. They are long. Have small feet. No arms and they have green and white patches on them. Bonus points if they hiss and then explode when you come close to them. They only interact with people that they want to fuck. The age of consent in random ass place is 16 so it's okay. Obsessed with sex. I met a girl through a game I'm a fan of and she would always talk about groping men and talk. Extremely sexual about face models. Cosplayers. And voice actors. She also has a really bad anger problem and low self-esteem so she was always charged up. The weird sex obsession. Comments. Telling everyone about her entire sex life and history. And getting mad when men wouldn't let her grope them was so uncomfortable and the other girls in. The group just fed into it. When they were here before, couldn't look me in the eyes. I have problems trying to meet new people. Like shy and awkward.
And it leaves me terrified women will assume I'm one of those nice guys incels who blame women for their lack of success. Aside from some obvious things, this thread isn't as comforting as I'd hoped. When they're stone sober and trying to pick up super drunk people at the bar, ETA an intoxicated incapacitated person cannot legally consent to sex. So it's very creepy that sober people would be seeking to sleep with people whose ability to legally consent may be questionable. Every person's alcohol tolerance is different. So you can't always gauge a person's level of with itness by the number of drinks they've had. A sober appearing person may very well be blacked out. Sex with such a person may be found to have been sexual assault. Anyone who acts too familiar comfortable with you after just meeting you or barely knowing you. Especially if they ask a lot of really personal inappropriate questions really fast. Like stuff about your sex life. Dating history. Childhood. Etc. Age is just a number. As a woman. It's when a man feels the need to tell you all about your own interests and how you're wrong about it. Like, I'm nerdy and like comics. But I like the comics I like. And some comic guys try to tell me I'm not a real comic fan if I do T like X, Y, Z comics. Dude. Leave me alone. Finding you on socials within half an hour of knowing you and not knowing your last name. When I sunbathe in my backyard and can see my neighbor in his window watching me with the binoculars. I recently hired someone to build me a privacy fence to go along the backside of the pool. When they go on a rant about Huey Lewis and the news. I don't think enough people trust their gut. If you have a weird feeling about someone. Or they make you feel uncomfortable even without necessarily doing something explicit. There's something going on under the surface. Trust your gut. They are on the sex offender registry. They are dragging a body part around with them. They sit next to you on an otherwise empty bus. I had a grown ass man easily twice my age and size follow me around when no one else was around. They don't drink. Yet hang out at bars doing coke and buying drinks for drunk strangers. I used to run into this way more in the 2008-ish American Apparel Deep vs. Era. They have a cage in the basement of their bookshop. When you're having an argument with someone and they start saying things just to hurt you because they don't have a valid argument. Yeah this one's personal. Anyone who comments on my kids like this she will break some hearts. He is such a flirt. Etc. Or if they crowd my kid trying to talk to them to where my kid is hiding. And they say don't be shy. So I have to say they aren't shy. You're making them uncomfortable. They use Reddit. They are playing the devil's advocate with age of consent. They have many friends that are much. Much younger than them. Edit I'm obviously not talking about coworker relationships. Guys. Come the fuck on. Lack of personal space. They have a Freud-like interest in sexuality. Had a friend like that. Very much a weirdo. Their handshake is either overly aggressive in a weird display of dominance or feels like they've. Just flopped a dead fish into your hand. Weirdo here I would sit alone at lunch when at school and if someone tried to sit with me at the lunch table I would move and find a new area. Where's my hug? A creep is one of my exes who put on a big show for my family. Then was emotionally and then, finally, physically abusive in our home. To others he would be the nice guy. But in private he would forbid me to see my friends because people would hit on me or work at jobs I wanted because I would leave him. Well, I did leave him. In response, he told me he would marry a girl he dated for two weeks unless I came back. Which he did do. As an added incentive he half-heartedly tried to strangle me in one of our final arguments. 
but he referred to himself as a nice guy.